Excuse me, um, can you tell me how to pronounce this? Van Gogh. Van what? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh. And that's definitive, is it? Yes. How can you be so sure? Well, because Vincent was my great uncle. Well, I guess that settles it then. Theo, to be born in Amsterdam with a name like Van Gogh, that might be, must be some baggage to carry around. Well, I don't walk around with a note on my, on my face. My name is Van Gogh, so nobody bothers me. Really? Nobody notices that you're a Van Gogh? No, of course not. Sorry, Van Gogh. Van Gogh. <laughs> right. You yourself um, are an artist of sorts, aren't you? No, I make movies. You make movies? Yeah, what kind of movies are these? Features for the cinema. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Tell us about one of your films. The first became famous because uh, it was a story about a mentally diseased millionaire's daughter who gets kidnapped by a psycho. And uh, one fragment was shown on television. The father refuses to pay the ransom. And one fragment was shown on television in which you saw him putting two cats into the washing machine. And uh, so next week, two sorry, cats. Two cats. In the washing machine. Bzz, like that. Did you write the script yourself? Yeah. yeah. And next week I had to come back to show that the cats were still alive because the whole nation stood up in uproar. That was nice. And were the cats still alive? Yes. They were biting my, my hands. <clears throat> Tell me a little bit about your journalistic activities. You write a column in the paper, don't yeah. you? Yeah. And uh, I believe you've, uh, you, you try to be deliberately controversial. Is that right? Oh, no, not at all. It's a little teaser, you know. The more you insult the people who have to give subsidies, the easier it is to get, to get your money for the films. And that's what I do sometimes in, in, the, in my column. And then I should say that Dutch film industry is really like a small, small village. So it's very nice to crucify some people which you don't like.